Hi, this is Freddy Karen from the World of Creativity. Today, coming to you from Barcelona. And we're, today, we're going to talk about how we can go from this unsatisfying, unfulfilling, uncreative mode that most people live in and how we can transition into a, a, a different mode where we are free to create and live our life to the fullest. Let's find out how we can become more alive. In our society, it's difficult to be creative because, at least in Spain, it's difficult to earn a life doing this being an artist. If you want to have the life that the society accepts that is the good life, like to have a house and to be able to go on holidays and to have a car, if you want to have all these things and you want to be an artist, then you feel like or you need to choose one or the other. You need to really believe that what you're doing is what you really want to do. That my first choice was to to do this kind of life, like to forget expressing my creativity and just uh, work in a company. But when I felt really that was never going, going to make me happy, then I tried the other way, just to be an artist and to, to just try it. And it worked. So what do we call the first road? And what do we call the second road? When you don't feel, you don't feel present in that moment, then you need to answer. 100 emails, tit, 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 then you do it, no? Okay, I've done, I've done my work for today. But you know inside you, you've done nothing because you are not interested in that at all. And so we can call it the unpresent road. Okay, unpresent road. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Good. That's perfect. But first, what happens when you are in unpresent mode? I was feeling really empty inside. Like there was something inside me that I was not exploding or exploring. And that made me feel that I was not myself. I think that you depend a lot from external things to be to feel fine. That's why you need the biggest car, the biggest home, the because inside you you're empty. So you need to fill this emptiness with things. Exactly. Now, what mood are you in now? What do you now I feel free. Free is one of the so you're empty now you're free. Yeah. And you before you were not yourself now you are. I feel that I explore my authenticity. That I can authentic. be. Exactly. Authentic, Authenticity. yeah. And, the third, and before you said the third one was external validation or external input. And now what? How do you feel? What is it now? You live in a society and you get opinions from your work and everything. But now I feel that I'm the one who's commanding this. And okay, yeah, I live a, a very simple life, but I'm really happy with this. That's perfect. Okay, so we have empty versus free, not yourself versus authenticity, and external validation versus expressing yourself. The first road is called the unpresent mode. The second one, the one you're in now, is called what? Do you think we can call it present or no? It's uh, too can. much. Yeah, if you, if it's, and if present. You think it's true. Only if it's authentic. Because yeah. it has to be authentic. It's, it's and, and, you live, and now I feel that I live the moment a lot. Every day, for me, it's an, like a new adventure. Like, I, I can't plan what's going to happen because um, things are constantly happening. So now we have identified, we have, you can be in unpresent mode or you can be in present mode. The trick of course is now how do you then, if you find yourself in, un, in the unpresent mode, how do you take the transition over to the present mode, to the creative mode? I think you need to be brave yes. to do that. Give me three practical things I can do. Find something that makes you feel present, not in that moment like I only want to be here, I only want to enjoy this. Another thing that I found very interesting was when I was working in the company, somebody told me that if you have a boss, you need to admire that boss. That's the way you can learn from that person and you can arrive higher. So you know you're not in present mode if you don't have someone to admire. Exactly. Yeah, and the third one is what? Have fun. It's because we, we don't have fun. We, we think that work is something uh, that you need to do like an obligation that you must do yeah, you have to the, be there do okay do that that you enjoy exactly so what's the message then to all the people who are off what's the message to them to listen to the their selves a little bit more to explore inside if this is the life they want to live if you don't like your daily life a real regular life in your day in your life then there's something that you need to change